The bone chilling temperatures continue causing water mains to break across the region. The latest sent a wall of water onto several homes in Baltimore County. WJZ is live in Canesville. Mike Shu shows us the mess there and updates the water main break that turned an Upper Fells Point Road into an ice rink. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Lynn. Good morning, everyone. Another day, another dramatic water main break. This time, it was like a fire hose, and when the water touched anything cold, as you'll see, it froze. It's a geyser, a steady stream of water at least five stories high. It fires from this gaping hole off Garden Ridge Road in Catonsville. A busted water main douses homes particularly hard hit, Karen Compton and Rebecca Johnson. The basement flooded, I mean, our rooms leaking water, but I mean, just glad that we're okay. Other homeowners, they're less understanding. Look what it's doing to these people's homes. This is a disgrace. I know this is happening all over the place, but I think this is a priority when it's affecting people's homes. This cold combined with that much water results in frozen front yards and a tree that looks like it's been flocked for Christmas. I think we're all a bit anxious for when this is going to end. One man says that this break was reported to DPW, but they're dealing with dozens just like it across the region. Uh, extra crews, we've brought on uh, crews from our contractor, uh, but uh, with the number of breaks out there measured in the dozens instead of the specific cases, uh, it may be just a little bit before we can get to you. Over to Upper Fells Point, DVW says that they have fixed that leak, but not before about two dozen cars were trapped in the ice. We came down last night to go home, and my car is completely covered in ice. Can't move it. Back now live, DPW workers are on the scene. This is a city and county operation. The way it works, we're in the county, so they're responsible for everything above the pipe. But uh, once they open it and excavate it, uh, DPW has to do the repair. Then the county comes back in and fills it and fixes the road. Now, as far as city DPW, they've canceled all leaves, and their employees are going to start working 12-hour shifts seven days a week until they get to this backlog in all these water main breaks. In fact, earlier this morning, uh, on some of the radios, we were hearing from the city that there are a couple more breaks that have just broken out. I'm Mike Shue reporting live in Catonsville. Back to you, Lynn. Mike, thank you. Plans are underway to update Baltimore's aging infrastructure. Some pipes are more than half a century old.